In this video, we're going to have a look at scientific notation, which is a good example of where exponential laws are put to use. Scientific notation is a notation used for writing very large or very small numbers in a more effective way. In grade 8, you were taught how to write large numbers in scientific notation. Scientific notation involves writing only one non-zero digit in front of the comma. In the number we have an example A, the comma is directly after the last of the five zeros. For scientific notation, we want to move it to directly after the first non-zero digit, which is the one. So at the moment, we can write down that we have one comma four seven, and we can leave out all the zeros. This is clearly not the same value as we had at the start, so we still need to multiply this by a specific number of tens. Every time that you multiply by 10, the comma moves one space to the right. So here we need to move the comma 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spaces to the right. And now we can use our exponential notation to write 10 to the power of 7 instead of writing 7 tens. And here we now have the scientific notation. In B, the comma that is right at the end of the value will now be moved to directly after the first non-zero digit, which is the 3. So we will start off with 3, 102. Now we need to determine how many times we need to multiply by 10 to still represent the original value. So here we moved 3, 6, 9 spaces. So that would be 10 to the power of 9. In example 2, we are now given the exponential notation and asked to write the value as a normal number or expanded notation. To do this, we are going to focus on the 10 to the power of 7. As I've mentioned previously, every time you multiply by 10, the comma moves one space to the right to make the value 10 times bigger. So here the comma needs to move 7 spaces to the right. I'm going to start off with 2, 3, 4, which means I've already moved the comma 1, 2 spaces and it needs to be moved 5 more spaces. Each one of these 5 spaces will result in another 0. This means that my final answer is 23,400,000. Next, we're going to have a look at how to write small numbers in scientific notation. Here, we are given a very small number and asked to write this in scientific notation. The basic principle that we want one non-zero digit in front of the comma will still be applied. So we are going to move the comma to directly after the 8, because 8 is the first digit that is not a 0. This means that we will start off with 8, 5. But because we have a small value, we are going to have to divide by 10 a specific number of times, because every time you divide by 10, you make the value smaller. Here we moved the comma 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces, so we will have to divide by 5 tens to have the original value. In scientific notation, however, we want 8,5 times a certain number of tens. So we are going to use our exponential definition and move the 10 to the power of 5 from the denominator to the numerator, by changing the exponent to a negative. So here you can see that when you have a small value, which is a value between 0 and 1, and you want to write it in scientific notation, your exponent will be negative to indicate that you are dividing by 10. In example B, we once again have a very small number. So I'm going to start by moving the comma to directly after the 5, which is our first non-zero digit, and we'll have 5, 87. 
And even though in scientific notation we will indicate that we are multiplying by a certain number of tens, we will have a negative exponent to indicate that we are actually dividing by these tens. From the 5, we will move 1, 2, 3 spaces, and that means 10 to the power of minus 3. Example 2, write as a normal number. Here we are given scientific notation, and we can see that the exponent is negative. This means this is actually a small number, and we will have to divide by 10 two times. To do that, we will move the comma to the left. Once we've moved the comma one space to the left, it will be in front of the 7. To move it another space to the left means we will have to add a 0 so that the comma can be in front of that 0. And our final value is 0, 0,0755. ,0 in B, we once again have a negative exponent telling us to move the comma four spaces to the left to make the value smaller. If I write down one nine, it means I've moved the comma one space to the left, and I still need to move it three extra spaces, which means I will add three zeros so that I can put the comma in front of these three zeros. The comma will have to move one, two, three, four spaces to the right again to rewrite it in scientific notation. So to recap, when writing in scientific notation, it is important to have only one non-zero digit in front of the comma, and for big numbers, the exponent will always be positive, and for small numbers, the exponent will be negative.